I'm on trail again. This time I'm walking on um, a little trail from Bora to Koo, just south of uh, Copenhagen. And it's called the Koo Or Stien, or the Koo Stream Path. So I've just left uh, Bora uh, train station and I'm walking parallel to the uh, train tracks at the moment. I've got the fields out on the right and uh, probably in half a kilometre or so then I turn to the left. It's been raining through the night but there should be no rain the next couple of days. Temperatures around about 7 degrees and there's only very slight winds, 2 or 3 metres per second. So um, it should be pretty nice. So this is the long stretch um, from Boyup Station and you can see it's the path uh, is right next to this uh, field here and um, just up here then it goes off to the left I did this trail three years ago um, so I, I can't even remem remember exactly how it is the whole way I, I know that up here then you start to follow the stream or the creek whatever you want to call it um, and it's quite nice it's a very easy walk you go underneath the railway line here and then I'm heading um, towards uh, towards the sound uh, to the harbour where Koo is It's very pretty walking through here. I've walked about three kilometers since uh, I got off the train. So in the distance I can hear um, a freeway, I can hear the cars. So the sun's just um, come out, which is quite nice. You can see this is Ku O, or um, the Ku Stream, or Creek, whatever you want to call it. And um, I believe I'll be walking next to this for some time. <clears throat> I'm only about four kilometers from uh, camp now. I think it's called Spananga. Um, so there's a shelter there and um, a hole in the ground for the toilet um, and it's just sort of uh, whoever gets there first um, has got the right to be there I, um, I've packed my ultimate two so I'll be sleeping in that tonight so we'll see what happens but uh, the weather is quite mild now. Really nice that the sun came out. So 
So you, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the traffic from the um, from the freeway. Pretty easy walk in this. Not much effort involved at all. But for a little pre Christmas hike, this is a, a nice little stroll for the next couple of days. So last year I was out on New Year's Eve. I won't be doing that this year. So that's why I wanted to get out and just have my last little camp for 2019. And it's uh, close to home. It's only about half an hour in the car from here. And the train took about 40 minutes or so, 40, 45 minutes with one change so this is the shelter place there's um last time I was here this fence it looks like someone's knocked it down because uh, it was all the way across last time there's a table here there's not much room to pitch a tent we've got the shelter there looks like someone started a fireplace here because last time this was the only fireplace over here and you can see that the boundaries just here this is the um, the toilet, there's a bin there, and um, there's a tap here but it's all closed off for, um, for winter, so you have to have your own water here. So there's not much room to put, um, to put my duplex up, um, I could put it over here but I could risk someone come later and then they light a fire and then my expensive tent is right next to it last time I was here I had my uh, tarp tent notch and um, I had it just over here <laughs> So I ended up going for this site here, so I'm pretty happy with that, it's nice and flat, and um, 
I should sleep pretty well here tonight, I hope. Got my winter Thermor SX Thome there and my um, AS Tugus um, quilt. And I've got the inner. Should be pretty good. So I'm going to use the shelter from my kitchen there. A little hangout area. But I'm pretty happy with um, the pitch on the ultimate. That looks pretty good. I've got some beef or lenses and some vegetables. This is some dehydrated food I made um, in May this year. Just made a cup of tea. about quarter past seven in the morning and some other people have turned up in the shelter last night so I'm just in the ultimate making a cup of coffee having some breakfast and then I'm gonna get going you can see that it's dark outside good morning so uh, I'm on trial now it's just after 8 o'clock in the morning the sun doesn't get up for a, just over another 30, 37 minutes or something um, so I'm just hiking with my um, headlamp although that I can see um, it's 4 degrees I've only got two layers on it really doesn't feel that cold, there's no wind and when I sat in my uh, ultimate having breakfast and a cup of coffee I actually um, had to take my down jacket off because I didn't feel I needed it oh look over there there's a there's a deer I don't know if you can see it oh, it's running now see this is the best thing about this time in the morning you can just see it now running to the side of the field Yeah, it's completely gone now. But that's uh, 
that's what I love about this time of the day is being able to to spot some wildlife so now that I'm in this um, little clearing here I can feel a slight breeze I guess I was um, protected from the winds in there you can see there's um, a good flow on in the creek Beautiful time of the day. So that's one and a half kilometers down. Let's go across the road here. And, um, oh boy, that was a hole there. <laughs> I've got uh, nine kilometers to go to Koo. And, um, and that's just to get to the outskirts of town. After that, I have to get to the train station. So this um, path is, 22 kilometers long um, and I know that you can never trust the signs it's just like Sconnelly and over in uh, Sweden they're they're always out um, so you've got to trust your own calculations um, so I've got about another kilometer once I get into Koo to get to the train station so that I can come home now this area that we're entering now is very very pretty well at least last time it was um, so last time I was here it was in November and um, you could still see all the autumn colors so my first impression at the moment uh, everything's looking pretty dead and wet <laughs> so um, See, you've got the water over here, yeah? Um, but just a little bit further down, it, um, it was in fact very pretty last time. I got some really nice photos. We'll see what it looks like when I get down there. So the sign says that they're doing some uh, police dog training and uh, they're loose in the in the forest and it says to to not go in the area and to respect um, respect the signs so i'm right next to the main uh, freeway up there and the bridge goes over the uh, ku um, yeah there's a good flow on that. I'll call it a creek, not a stream. And you can see that um, I'm still on the 90, so I'm on the right trail. And um, I'm heading this way. So the the trail that I'm doing and where I left from yesterday at Boa, it's um, like a half marathon. So. Um, they use this trail apparently to to uh, practice half marathons and to um, yeah execute um, official runs. I'm going to put the camera away. It looks a little bit boggy here. So the forest still looks quite pretty here not as pretty as last time there was a a lot more um, leaves beautiful autumn colored leaves on the ground but this is still a, a lovely area that's for sure So 
So a little further down the trail, I have to cross the creek again. I've crossed it already several times this morning, and I crossed it a few times yesterday as well. This is my favorite part of the trail. It's so beautiful here. Lovely little bridge crossing down there. It's incredible to think that this is um, not that far um, from Copenhagen. I was just um, admiring these uh, trees here, hanging on to life. You can see the roots, they go all the way down the side here. All the way down. more over here so I just thought I'd um, give you a quick update about last night um, okay I admittedly I did go to bed fairly early but around about 8 30 quarter to 9 then some people showed up, some car campers showed up at the shelter site and you could see from the videos yesterday that it's a very small site um, so I saw them shining lights around, that's what woke me up first straight into my tent um, and then they went away I could see some lights again in the distance and then they came back and they had all their crap with them and um, I thought alright so I just sort of tried to doze off again and uh, five minutes later they're just making a hell of a racket they're chopping up wood on the sh floor in the shelter making a hell of a noise so I got up and I said to them hey uh, I'm trying to sleep right next door here um, so then they said, oh, they were sorry and I'll try not to make any noise. And then they chopped some wood um, on, yeah, they used another piece of wood to chop it on so it didn't uh, echo uh, as loud as what it does when you, you imagine what, how, how loud it is when you're chopping some wood on the floor of the shelter. And by the way, that's not what the shelter floor is for. Um, so they were doing the wrong thing anyway. Um, they had their fire and then at some stage they went to bed. I put my earplugs in and dozed off. Then they were awake again at four o'clock this morning banging some pots around. I don't know if they were making a hot drink or something. Um, and then after that they sort of nodded off. I dozed on and off and um, eventually I got up at seven this morning and uh, I didn't try to be quiet I just made all the noise I normally would so um, yeah karma I think that this is my last crossing So now I've come up a few meters onto a rise and um, so the trail keeps following the creek but um, but now I'll show you in a second here we go there's some farmers field here so I came up 
um, through the forest up there and uh, I'll be following this open easy walking track for some time if I remember rightly down the end of here it comes through a little um, either a farm or a very small village I just can't remember We're still following the creek. You can see the creek's just down there. And uh, I just got to follow this road for a little bit. And then I think it enters the forest again. So I turn here, I finally get off this road. Uh, I guess I've been following this probably for about one, one and a half kilometers. And there's no footpath, so. Um, it was interesting and I can see I've got the the correct trail here so bye bye cars and um, it says that I've got the sign says 3.8 kilometers to Koo and then I got another kilometer after that um, so you can see that it's heading down into the forest again and then if I remember correctly, I basically follow this forest path for the rest of the way into Ku. Um, and then I noticed last time that it got um, quite busy with people out and about. It's 10 to 10 on a Sunday, so there's probably not that many at the moment. I just saw a group of um, middle-aged or maybe older men um, on their mountain bikes about five of them they passed me on the road and then they headed down down this uh, road as well so they're obviously going to um, uh, ride the same way that I'm walking I think I photographed this same area last time I was here so the path comes from that way, that's the way I just came from. And um, it's quite swampy here. And that same tree stump was there last time. And uh, I'm heading this way. So I just wanted to say that um, <clears throat> this was just a little overnight adventure. It was good to get out before Christmas and before the new year and um, this will be my last hike for 2019 and I'd just like to say thank you to um, all my subscribers for following the channel and thank you for your support and I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year see you in 2020 1.8 kilometers to Koo and uh, another one after that so I've got just under three kilometers so I made the 1057 train in Koo and uh, on my way home now thanks for watching See you next time.